Hey, right, YouTube, welcome back. I know it's been a long, 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 long time, but I've been low-key working a lot, and I've been forgetting to film a lot. So now we're going to pick up from where I, you know, left off at. Not really left off, but where I remember to pick up the camera at. So now, by the, as you can tell by the side of the video, we are actually doing some work to the Civic. I am in the process of getting back running right now. This is just a fuel pump install of what I did. I installed it already. Now I'm about to just drop it in the tank. But I'm going to show y'all real quick. All right. So this is my little kind of rigged up thing because I didn't want to use the zip tie because I plan on using E85. But this is my Warboro 255 fuel pump. It was a direct plug and play. So, you know, I just removed it, removed the old one, put the new one in, and the connector actually connected, snapped in. Pretty simple. So Warboro 255 stock filter. Uh, and stock housing. No modifications really needed. Um, only thing I did, like I said, I put this metal clamp on here instead of a plastic, I mean, a zip tie, instead of a zip tie, because I plan on running E85. Main, so main, main purpose is because it's safer for the motor, less detonation, and, you know, a little bit more jam, but mostly because it's, um, safer. So, now we're about to go ahead and drop it in the tank, you know, I'm gonna catch y'all up to what I've been doing. Y'all in the Civic, man. Y'all getting the view of the Civic, which, honestly, I might be in the way, but we're gonna go ahead and slap this joint on in here so let's go ahead and get it started nice. All right, so fuel pump in, fuel pump housing back in, and uh, yeah, I don't know why it's doing that, but um, yeah, fuel pump back in. Now we got to connect everything, and now we start. We are starting to prepare to put the motor back together. So I'm gonna show y'all everything that I have right now, and show you everything that's going. Like, we'll try to show you everything's going on because I gotta go pick the head up from the shop, machine shop tomorrow. So. I'm just going to update on y'all on everything. So, all right. So, since y'all have been gone, well, since I have been gone, I have been actually collecting a lot of things and to get ready for this build. So, if y'all didn't know, the Civic is going coil on plugs. So, we had to get the D17Y8. Oh, no, not damn. I'm tripping. The D17 valve cover so I can prepare for coil. So, you know, so I can hold the coils on. Granted, I could have made a bracket, but it was cheaper to just go ahead and just buy this because I think this was on like. Twenty dollars, twenty, forty dollars, something like that. So we got the valve cover. Um, ben had the inter intercooler kit, uh, just a cheap eBay one for right now. Um, I'm literally only trying to get like three hundred, between three hundred to three thirty horsepower. Um, I got multiple intake manifolds. Don't know why. That's a stock one. That's another stock one. Not sure what it came off of, but. This is all the parts that we have right here for the city. So I had to buy two sets of pistons and rods. Well, mainly one set of rods, two set of pistons, because I was going to board the 75 millimeters, but it made no sense for me to go ahead and do that. So I was doing, I'm right. What I did was went back with the stock size, which is 75 millimeter. And therefore, if it messes up or anything and I need to board a block, I can go to 76, which I already have two sets of. So now let's go ahead and get to everything else that I bought. Um, I'm going to be straight up under with you. I don't even remember what this is. Oh, this is the intercooler in here for some odd reason. I don't know why the intercooler is in here instead of the kit over there. But yeah, the intercooler is right there. Um, what is this? This is the oil pan gasket. These are the pistons and rods. Yeah, no, these are the rods. 
So these are the P I got the P2PO from eBay. They were four fifty for pistons and rods, and it came with the seals and everything, the piston seals and everything I needed. So those are the rods. The pistons are in here somewhere. Um, piston ring compressor. You know they installed the piston rings because I didn't have one. Um, I actually went and got a cam. I got the BC Stage Two Turbo Cam. So it's supposed to give it a little chop, but we're gonna see. Um, and then the rest of this are like the dump tube, which is this right here, oil lines, um, fuel lines, vacuum lines, a bunch of bushings and T bracket sensors, because that's how I originally blew my motor. I actually blew the head gas because it ran hot and the temperature sensor went bad. But instead of me replacing it, I just went ahead and hardwired it to stay on every time the car turns on, which I should never done. Yeah, I know now, but that's how that that's how all of this started so since we're here we're just gonna go ahead and slap everything together um wait i feel like i'm missing something um oh i got a wiring harness the ebay wiring harness uh, we're gonna see what that's hitting on i still got my stock one but if y'all don't know i literally have converted this car from auto to manual so it still has the automatic harness in there, and as you can tell, it still has the automatic settings in here. Like I never gotten in there to, you know, cover that uh, this this piece right here up. This okay, of course, is needed, but that right there is not needed. So I just went and got a shift boot so all that wind can stop coming in. I just put a shift boot on it, and that just solved all those problems. But I need to weld something right there or something. Um, innovate AFR. You know, more accurate. Some little eBay boost gauge glow. I think a glow shift. Um, yeah, I just have a bunch of stuff. The block is set up. It's right here, torn apart. Got a block guard. VMS block guard is in here. Like I said, I have to hone the block. So I'm waiting on the tool. The tool. I ordered a tool to hone the block so I can install the, the pistons. But. We getting there. We making some serious progress, man. Like this, the biggest step for me was to send the head off to the machine shop, machine shop, and I did that. So now I gotta go pick the, the head up tomorrow because they said that it's ready, and um, go from there. I probably should have dropped the block off honestly, so they can clean the block too, make sure it's even as well. Now that I'm looking at it, but I might just get another block, a bare block, and just slap all that on there. Because um, now that I'm looking at this, this is not as smooth. I mean, granted, I could use the at-home method, the Cuban shave. Basically, get a block of wood, some super, super thin th um, sandpaper. Tape off the insides, kind of sort of so it won't go in there. And just smooth it down. Like, go across it and see what's high and what's low. And just smooth it down that way. So, honestly, we're going to see. I probably won't do that. I feel like the head, I mean, the block might be straight. But, you know, just in case, just in case I need to. I probably should, honestly. I'm not sure. At this point, I'm just ready to get this car back up and going. But, yeah, this is all the parts that came off of it. Oil pan, oil pickup. Oh, dang. How did a gasket rip, man? This was a brand new gasket. <sighs> yeah, so all this, the cam going to go. This is stock can on that's going to go because that was eight up. Yeah, so I'm just ready to get this car back on the road. Man. I'm like, it's been too long. Now I gotta get a clutch. And that's about it. It's been sitting too long, man. I'm ready to get this car back on the road. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to. I've been low key doing it um, on and off because I've been working and I really haven't had the energy to for real finish it. Really, it was just taking their head up to the machine shop. I don't know why. I just didn't have the, the energy to go do that. So I was just like, I'll do it when I do it. But I'm getting to a point where I'm tired of letting this car sit. So now we're going ahead and get to it because I really miss this car. I really miss driving it. And I'm tired of it sitting like this. If it sit, which it probably won't. But if it did sit, I wanted to run while it sit. But we still got a lot of things to do. Like I still got to upgrade the wheels and tires, redo the suspension. Um, so it's still quite a bit to do to my liking, but as far as to get the car running, I just need to get the motor put back together, get a clutch, get it tuned. And that should be it as far as getting it running. But 
yeah, we've been working, man. It's just been, it's just been odd schedules. So we are gonna get there. We are gonna get there for sure. We definitely gonna get there. But yeah, I just want to give y'all a brief update with everything that was going on. Let y'all know that I'm still out here doing it. You know, still out here slowly doing it, doing what I can. So you know, work with me, guys. Work with me. I ain't forget about y'all. We are gonna get there. So if you have any comments, questions, concerns, any advice, also. I know some people out there that got D-Series that they're turboing or have turbo. Hunter tune tune a lot of them and build a lot of them, kind of. Like, he messed with them a lot, so he definitely tuned a lot of those. So, if y'all, any of y'all have any advice, anything, just let me know. Or just mention it in the comments because any advice is good as long as it's good advice. No, 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 come in here if you never, you know, did any of it. You don't have any good, no, any advice or you have some negative say, you can just keep that to yourself. We're only here for advice and good vibes and just, you know, just trying to keep it rolling, keep it rolling. So on that note, like, comment, subscribe, your boy out. This is probably part one, really any part one, because really I, know I have already been doing this, but this is part one of the D-Series Turbo build. So yeah, stay tuned. Definitely stay tuned. But on that note, like, comment, subscribe, your boy out. Peace.